people welcome back to the canada info hub channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba canada and i love to talk about everything canada <laughs> not why me i love i just love to be happy and goofy you know there's so much negative things outside in the world and you don't want to add more negative things on this channel like i like to be positive i like to be happy so don't mind me goofing around anyway so if you're new to this channel i would say welcome subscribe yes uh destroy the like button don't scatter your phone <laughs> just give me the thumbs up yeah subscribe to this channel okay so i did a quiz in my last video and i said i was going to announce the winner of the quiz the question was quite tricky and it was only people who understood that it was quite tricky that were able to get, get the answers and i had to pick one person out of the people who got the right answers and the question was which of the provinces does not have an immigration pathway of course um all the provinces have an immigration pathway the territories only two of the territories have immigration pathways nunavut does not have an immigration pathway nunavut is not a province nunavut is a territory so for those of you who answered nunavut unfortunately the answer is wrong because nunavut is not a province but a territory for those who answered none yes you got the answer right but unfortunately i have to choose one person and um i think you will see the name of the person at the bottom of this video please reach out to me so that i can give you your prize yes i'll give you a hundred dollars for answering the question right please just bear with me you know my my business is just coming up i've spent so much money getting the license and for those who don't know to get this canadian immigration license is not cheap oh. it's not cheap at all it's not cheap so i tell them it's not easy because i didn't pick the money from the road you know in my last video i also talked about getting the foreign worker recruiter license and you know it's not cheap so please book a consultation if you want to talk to me for those who are putting comments in the comment section saying how do you reach me how do you talk to me please book a consultation if you want to know all your options of immigrating it's better to book a consultation for an extensive discussion and for those who have discussed with me they know i've given them information and strategies on how they can come to canada and i even with the consultation i still do follow-up responses and you know of course i'm a generous person <laughs> Okay, so let me not talk too much on that. Today's topic is very important because um, with what is going on, what has been happening, I just said I have to talk about it. Um, sometime in February, they did a draw and it was 27,000 people that were drawn for the Canadian Experience class. And then we we're hoping that after that draw, they won't be able to see more people to draw under that stream. We we're hoping that they will start uh, picking people or giving invitation to apply to people who were under the federal skilled workers program outside canada that was not the case the next thing it was a provincial nomination draw and then after that just this last week again they did another canadian experience class draw a lot of people have been sending me emails and asking me is it possible that they don't want to like invite people outside canada anymore are they are they now concentrating on people who are in Canada, does that mean that we should change our strategy from waiting for the Federal Skilled Workers Program Express Entry Draws and focus on only maybe provincial nominations and maybe coming to Canada as students? I had to check the website and do an analysis of the rounds of invitation comparing last year with this year. Um, at the beginning of the year before COVID happened, they were actually doing no program specific draws. But after COVID happened, they now started concentrating on only Canadian experience class and provincial nomination. And then they started the no program specific draws, which means every person on that Canadian experience class, um, the federal skilled workers, federal skilled trade program, every other person where uh, they got an invitation to apply in the month of July, 2020. It is looking like it will be the same thing for this year where they are only focusing on the canadian experience class provincial nomination canadian experience class provincial nomination until a certain period another thing is if the u.s border is still closed there is every tendency that they will not do a federal skilled workers draw until they open the borders and of course you know for those who already got their um 
passport requests and have even gotten their passports and copy of permanent residence, they are even still unable to come into Canada, except for those who must have gotten their copy of permanent residence before March 18, 2020. So, you know, with all these things in place with COVID-19 and the ongoing vaccination of people depends on the number of people who have gotten vaccines before the government can say, okay, we are now comfortable to open the borders for people to come in. So the moment they open the borders for people to come in, I am sure that a lot of people who have gotten their copy of permanent residence uh, will be able to come into Canada. And then the federal skilled workers draw, that's the no program specific draws, will now start. When it will start, I am not so sure. As of today, the U.S. border is too closed between U.S. and Canada. So that means people from U.S. cannot enter Canada and people from Canada cannot go into the U.S. except those on essential services. They extended the closure until April 21, 2021. So we don't know if by April, May, they would open the borders or not. But I know that the moment they decide to open the Canadian border between U.S. and Canada, there is every likelihood that the program specific draw will start if it's gonna be in june like last year i am not so sure if it's gonna be in april i am hoping that it should happen but even before that so what is your own strategy because if you're waiting for all these things you know that with the express entry the moment you celebrate your birthday you're losing five points and if your occupation is not in demand in any province, that means you're losing out on provincial nomination because currently they are giving people who have provincial nomination um, priority and also those who have Canadian Experience class priority. And I think I need to even talk about Saskatchewan as well here. So for those of you who have 68 points and you're still swimming in Saskatchewan, why don't you go and start learning French? I've announced it before. Don't wait for when... Um, um you don't the opportunities are no longer reachable again because it's like the more what you try to get some points they keep shifting the goalposts so you have to just play the ball the way they are playing the ball if it means learning french start learning french and if you want a french tutor if you want somebody to teach you french please send an email i have french tutors um verified french tutors who can teach you french um some of them have started classes and uh, if you have a level of French and you feel that you still need to brush up to write the TEF exam or the TCF exam, send an email to hello at caninfoconsult.com. Okay, so that's by the way, I was saying that Canada's immigration is like goalposts being shifted all the time, you know, and you, you do all you can to get the highest band IL scores. And the next thing is your birthday is fast approaching and you're losing five points. And the next thing is they tell you start learning French. Of course, should you waste time? Nobody should tell you you should start learning French. You should start learning French because if that's the only option you have um, that will open the doors for you when it comes to immigration, then start learning French. And of course, with French, there are lots of op options. I mean, lots of lots of options. I won't tell you the options because it is better for you to book a consultation so that you know your options. Anyway, so I said I was going to talk about this. Um, we are hoping that um in the coming weeks hopefully in april that the no program specific draws will start happening and people who have been waiting for that particular program to happen so that they don't lose points when their birthday comes um i'm hoping that they benefit from it and if your scores are not high enough please i don't need to announce it start learning french and take advantage of you know being a bilingual person that will give you an added advantage so this is the information i said i was going to share today um i have more updates i'm supposed to share but i'm busy <laughs> please forgive me i'll try I, I feel like this channel is suffering i don't know why anyway okay so congratulations to the winner of the quiz um it's only one person i had to choose i'm sorry about that uh, please bear with me. Uh, uh, my business is still growing. I think I've shared enough information today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.